Okay guys, final stop, reef slash rock breaks. We're at the Radisson here in Satellite Beach and it's absolutely dumping behind me on the beach. We've got a big swell and it's basically as gnarly as it gets here on the shore. So I'm actually predicting that the rock is gonna be buried for the most part. That's something you wanna keep in mind. If you go somewhere and you don't think there's rocks, it might change, the sand could move, or vice versa. So usually when you show up here, the rocks are sticking up out of the water, but today, I have a feeling we get out there, a lot of it's gonna be buried. We're gonna have pretty much the same approach that we always do, get our fins, get our board, slowly walk down to the shore, but we're gonna be a little bit more observant when we're paddling out. We're gonna look to the north, look to the south. We're gonna see if we have any rocks sticking out. We wanna look for boils. Boils are basically bubbles of air being released from underneath the rock. And it's a little bit confusing because sometimes a big wave can barrel and capture air and let it up and it looks like a boil, but if you see it over and over in the same spot, you got a rock right there. And you need to be aware that that's going to be something that you could potentially hit while you're out there. So let's say we've looked up and down the beach, we do or don't see rocks. If we do, let's say they're you know down the beach and we feel like, okay, this is a good place to paddle out. We're gonna get our fins, slowly walk down to the shoreline, and then when we're making our way out, slow, take it easy, feel with your feet, step out and feel before you commit to a step. Because the worst thing in the world is when you step and you follow through and there's a rock there and it knocks you down, you get hit by a wave, I'm telling you, go to uh, Kook Slams or uh, Kook of the Day on Instagram, you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. You don't want to make those pages. So at this point, let's say I'm out there, I'm like waist deep and the waves are breaking in front of me and I've got rocks underneath my feet. Go slowly and I'm going to pay attention to where the waves are breaking in relation to where I'm at. You do not want to be on a super shallow rock and have a wave break on you. You need to time it with the sets. And that applies to anywhere, but this is really important. Watch the waves and wait for that break in the waves. When you've got an opening, go. Make it quick. But don't just dive in and take half of your chest off on the rocks. You need to make sure that when you keep stepping, you're not going to have a staircase in front of you. And what I mean by that is it's not necessarily a flat rock all the way through. Sometimes there's a rock, and then you have to step up onto another rock, and then up onto another rock. In some cases, you're neck deep, you take two steps forward, and you're ankle deep. So you need to you know, really play it by ear for each spot, but more importantly, you need to play it by ear for each swell in each session, because when we get a big swell coming through, the sand is not going to be the same. Nothing is the same out here, and it changes every single swell. Once we're in the lineup, generally speaking, you're going to be okay. I have only hit the bottom and hit rock a couple times. There's places that you can surf or body surf and there are rock and it's not going to be as dangerous, but there's places that you don't have any business body surfing. It's If you look and you see rock sticking up out of the water and the wave is breaking right there, it's probably a horrible idea for you to try to catch a wave there. So be aware, be smart, and make the decisions on where you paddle out based on what you see. You show up at your reef break and it looks just out of control, there's rock sticking up, go down to the beach break, find yourself somewhere that's a little bit safer. With all that being said, reef breaks can be so fun. It can be close to shore like this where it dumps right on the beach, or it can break way outside, give you these beautiful A-frames, they can barrel, they can give you, you know, air sections, there's a million different ways that these waves break. But we always have to remember that underneath the water, we've got more than sand. We've got rock and reef and a lot of stuff that can se severely injure you if you hit it. So be careful, be safe. Hope you guys enjoy it. This is our last stop. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Check out the previous videos for all of our tutorials with slide hand boards. And stay tuned. We've got some really sick new boards to show you guys in the coming weeks. Yew!